it's a tough thing for me to, to pill a swallow and humble myself to do because I, I fix cars. I went to school to learn mechanics. Like, and I'm gonna go flip burgers. I mean, come on. Maybe you've heard that homeless people don't really want jobs and that they often make excuses to avoid work. We found that sometimes that seems true. This new job I tried starting up, you know, I started recently, um, but they're very shady in terms of how they're training me. Uh, I started almost a week ago, so, and, but they're only paying minimum wage and I don't like how they're training me. So I have to keep looking. I do little side jobs, but like yesterday, I was supposed to go do a house off Bunker Hill Avenue. And I said, look, I need to bring my dog. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. So there you go. I lost a day's work right there. But most of our conversations ultimately told a very different story. Not working, you get into a rut. I'm never happier than working. That's what I want. I want a job. Anybody out there? I'm a hard worker, shipping, receiving, manufacturing, aerospace, I'm here. Yeah, of course I want something steady, you know, you know, permanent, so I don't have to question where my next paycheck's coming from. See, in my case, you know, uh, I know what I need to do. I still got two arms, two legs, and the will to work. Uh, but it's been difficult. Um, because I spent almost a month and a half looking for a job. Yeah, I want to get back into flagging, right? traffic controlling. I will do anything. I'm good with my hands. Uh, I've done construction, um, uh, roofing. I've done landscaping. I've done stonework. I'm, I could do any of that stuff, but um, my passion is voice acting. Hey, what are you doing, man? I worked all my life, and this, you get laid off, and you end up homeless, and you know, this could happen to anybody. It happened to me. For those who want a job, and that's most people experiencing homelessness, it's definitely a struggle to work when you don't have a roof over your head. The next time you're dreading going into work, give a thought to those who would love to be in your shoes. And if you're in the position to hire, think about looking for someone who will really appreciate a job.